Welcome everyone to Old Man's Land, a Farming Simulator 19 gameplay by Service Farm. In this episode, Easter eggs worth selling our belts, creating our field number 3 and cutting the trees out of our field number 3. For today, our farmer has planned to create the field number 3 and, if possible, seed it and sell the bales that are sitting in the bale shed because we're not going to be using them for animals this year. So he starts with cutting down the trees that are going to be in the way of the field number three and removing the stumps. It's only a couple smaller trees, so it's relatively simple to actually load them. Using our small trailer in the belt configuration to actually load them on. And one more tree over there. Let's get this cut down and having everything with him to actually do the job in one go. While recording this episode, I actually had problems that I could not crotch. can see it a little bit, I was experimenting with the trees. I assumed at this point that it had to do with the not fully grown trees and was experimenting around uh, with that a little bit. Now next step is actually to start creating the field with our yellow subsoiler. And I noticed yesterday that the tractor was slipping a little bit while pulling this subsoiler. So I'm experimenting today with putting additionally the narrow tires on the back of the tractor to hopefully get a little bit more traction. So let's see how this is working out. And like mentioned, I'm keeping the fields uh, in the shape of the roads, uh, keeping with the spirit of the landscape. So just going along the road here and then up along the perimeter of where our land actually stops. I always like to create the perimeter of the field first so uh, that you don't need to pay that much of attention uh, once you're actually working inside. So you're diligent one time on the outside and then just get it done inside. And sometimes I'm kind of moving around and kind of come back. That is simply uh, because I, this way, I actually can find the corners properly. And I go from there. Now along the road, again, into the eagle eye view right on top that you actually can see the row how overgrown it all is. If you know or not that allows me uh, to actually change the texture of the road in game kind of like the roller that is recreating the fields or restoring the, the original state to delete fields uh, but to actually change uh, textures I would really appreciate it if you could let me know something like that and could point me to a mod like that if one exists, if you know of one. So just keeping going and uh, creating the complete of the field. As you can see, the soil temperature is actually a little bit low. So for soy that we actually want to plant here, I think you need 12 degrees or something like that, or 11 degrees. So the soil is a little bit too cold so uh, let's see if it's warming up enough uh, in the afternoon that uh, we actually can put the seed in if not we need to wait until tomorrow to actually seed this field but nonetheless let's get it prepared and ready to rock and roll in the full episode uh, you're actually also getting some more details of uh, what our farmer experienced uh, the night before and the other detail that I want to mention here is uh, I modified the no man's land 
map a little bit and put in Easter eggs. So there are several Easter eggs uh, scattered around the landscape here. The Easter egg hunt is on. So if you find an Easter egg or if you think you found an Easter egg, leave a comment below the video. Whoever is first to discover the Easter egg, I'm going to be putting your name and the time, date time when you discover the Easter egg into the description of the playlist so that we actually get all the Easter eggs um, chronologically, how they got discovered into the playlist in one place. As long as I'm not saying that all Easter eggs are found, there are Easter eggs out there. Once you actually think that you have seen an Easter egg, in the comment, note the time on the video or the, the daytime, whichever works for you. The area on the screen, just do a 3 by 3 grid and uh, tell me in which area of the screen you thought that you have seen it, what you think the Easter egg is. A few more details on, on this Easter egg hunt and what is behind it is in the regular episode. Just briefly. So yes, I'm going to be using those Easter eggs to actually fill in the backstory uh, for these lands here over time. Keeping it short here, running out of time here because the field is nearly done. Of course, we are using precision farming. This means we need to take our soil samples. Two, three, let's see how many we need. Four, five, six, seven, yeah, looks like eight. Yep, eight samples. And you can see the cedar is already there, ready to go. And because we have a little bit of time uh, and we can't see it, uh, let's get the wood that we have, the small trees that we have, made to cash and throw them in here. And while we're at it, let's get the bell trail out of the way and uh, let's get to work on those three locks that are there. And let's get those converted to cash. Yes, sometimes the physics are remarkable. And sometimes it's just a problem of the operator. And you can see around the farm that I also purchased a little bit more equipment and supplies. And this includes this trailer here. It's a nifty little trailer. Check out the full episode to 
actually learn a little bit more about this trailer. Now for the fun task to actually stack those bales on. And the farming simulator physics are making an appearance. Would only be half the fun without them. Ask me how I learned to always tie down partial stacks or the first stacks that I actually have on there. So let's go unloading and instead of based on seasons losing the volume out of those bales over time, adding the volume to our bank account. And here I was trying if actually the bales are getting recognized by the selling point that you don't need to unload them. But nope. So, uh, looks like the fun way is necessary. So that's why I parked the trailer. Besides the crate that I simply can push, or well, that was the th is the theory that I simply can push the bail stop. So let's see how this is going. Starting good. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And with this cleanup, I am going to be closing out the episode. It's getting late in the day. 
thanks for watching uh, like that if you are interested in all the details please watch the full episode uh, i'm keeping this episode short staying with the condensed form staying with the very quick recap all the details how our farmer is doing what our farmer is experiencing um, and a little bit more of the struggle that he's actually going through is in the full episode thank you for watching the subscribe button is coming up on your screen right now as is a link to the full episode and a link to the playlist of all the condensed episodes thanks for watching and see you next time.